Hi guys. This is D. Igorotech. Today, I will show you how to install and how to use Winbox application to manage the MicroTik router. Winbox is a small utility that allows administration of MicroTik router OS using a fast and simple GUI. Let's begin. Open your web browser. Search for MicroTik Winbox download. Choose the link which is from microtik.com. Alternatively, you can go directly to the official website microtik.com then go to downloads. Under Winbox, expand the down arrow. During the time of this recording, the current version is 3.38. You also have to choose your operating system version. If you are using 64-bit then download and install the 64-bit version. If you are using 32-bit then download the 32-bit version. To check your operating system version. For Windows 11, right-click on this PC or my computer if you are using Windows 10. Choose Properties. You can see my system type is 64-bit so I need to download the 64-bit version. Simply click on it to download. You can see the downloaded file. Choose Show in Folder. The file name is Winbox followed by the operating system version. This application is portable so no installation is needed. You can simply drag it to your desktop and you can already run and use the application. If you want to remove Winbox then simply delete it from here. Double click on it to run the application. You can also pin it on your taskbar. If you are using this application then you can connect your computer to any port of the MicroTik router. Once connected then go to Neighbors. This option will automatically detect all the MicroTik devices connected to the same network. You can click Refresh to show newly connected or newly detected MicroTik devices. It's very useful especially if you have multiple MicroTik devices and also if you don't know their IP addresses. This MAC address is the MAC address of the MicroTik port where you connect your computer which in my case is port 2. The IP address is still zeros because we haven't configured the IP address of this port or interface yet. If you are using the web browser to manage the MicroTik router then you can use the default IP address which is 192.168.88.1 but you have to connect your computer to port 1. This depends on the MicroTik model. Some models are using different ports like this CCR2004 is using port 15. Next is identity. For other brands, this is the host name. Version is the router OS firmware version which in my case is 7.6. You can also check my other video on how to upgrade MicroTik router firmware. Board is the MicroTik model. Lastly, the uptime, which is how long the device is up and running. Now, if you look at the Connect 2, it's blank. You need to select which device you want to manage. Simply click on it and you can see the MAC address will be added. Next is we will enter the username and password. By default, the username is admin with no password. Some models with password, you can check it on the sticker. You can click on add or set if you want it to be on managed devices. I will show you later on how to do that. If we look at the top right window, we have the option to keep password which is enabled by default. This is very useful, no need to enter your password every time you want to access the device. Auto reconnect is also enabled. This will auto reconnect you to the device if in case you're disconnected. You can also enable open in new tab if you have multiple MicroTik devices. It will open each device to separate windows. Now, click connect. You will see the router OS default configuration pop up. This will show some configuration suggestions. Also from here, you can see the IP address pre-configured on port 15 which is 192.168.88.1. You can click on remove configuration or click OK to proceed. Next is we are required to change the password. The default password is blank so we will leave it blank. We just enter our new password and also we need to confirm it. Click change now to proceed. We are now logged into the MicroTik router. If you look at the title bar, we can see that we are logged in as admin through the MicroTik interface MAC address. This is because we access the device using the MAC address. 
If you access the device using the IP address then the IP address will be shown here not the MAC address. Same goes with the dynamic DNS. Behind is the host name which we will change later. You can also see the router OS firmware version 7.6 which is running on this device model CCR2004. The last one is the CPU architecture. If we look at the top right, we can see date and time. To show other options, you can go to dashboard. Date and time are already there so we will show the rest. We will show the CPU process. The CPU monitoring has been added. We can also show the memory process and the device uptime. To remove the monitoring process, simply right click on it then choose remove. You can check my other video on this playlist on how to configure MicroTik router step by step. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.